Hey, what's going on YouTube? Finally got my water cooling components here and uh, I'm gonna make a quick video showing you guys what I got and you know, kinda like you can use this video for reference if you wanna water cool yourself. Um, everything that I got were, came up to like 900 US dollars, a little bit short of 900 bucks, but plus or minus shipping or if you get better deals or whatnot at the time of purchase for you. Jeez, I can find a good deal, but don't mean that everyone's gonna find it. So let's assume everything was 900 bucks. Um, and that's for just just for the water cooling um, itself, not counting in computer or other computer hardware they may need. So um, let's take a look. Okay. And uh, to start off, CPU block. Uh, it's a EK Supremacy Elite for Intel 2011. It also fits 1155 and 1150, but uh, I, I'm not sure. Maybe they they do offer other versions of this. Maybe they're smaller. You know, this is kind of like the big one for the 211 socket. Um, that's gonna be cooling a 4930K. Next up is a bunch of half inch inner diameter by three quarter outer diameter Swift Tech fittings. And these basically just to match the ones that come with the uh, EVGA water blocks. Tigon silver tubing. This is expensive. It's like four bucks a foot from what's this called? Uh, Frozen CPU. That's the only place I can find it. Coolant also makes a silver tube similar to this, but they didn't have a half inch by three quarter diameter tubing that I was looking for. Uh, for a reservoir, it's a bits power water tank C multi 250. I'll show you guys in a little bit what that bad boy looks like. For the GTX Titans, two hydrocarbon blocks from EVGA. They all they come with the fittings. They come with a smaller set of fittings. I'm not sure what these are. They look like 5 8 fittings, but these are for sure um, half inch by three quarter comes with thermal paste from Swift Tech and some accessories it also comes with instructions on how to install it to use this block you will need a EVGA backplate now, I already had backplates for my Titans before um, purchasing the blocks so you know one of them just came in with an extra one so you know that's that for the pump is a Swift Tag um, MCP655 with threaded ports, quarter inch. So you can put like compression fittings on your on your pump. Oh, I got I got a sleeve that's still it's not sleeve, but I will get to it. Now for the radiator. It's a uh, Alpha Cool 480 Monster, the 80mm mil thick radiator. I already have it installed. I should probably get it out. Um, if you want to keep up with the build log, I have a build log in OCN, overclock.net. And um, yeah, you can kind of see better pictures of this radiator. It's, it's monstrous. I mean, there's, there's a lot of space between the top grill of the 900D case and the motherboard. I mean that radiator just barely leaves enough room for a set of 25 millimeter fans. So you know pretty much this is what it looks like now. You got three fans in the front, intake uh, pushing air inside of the case. You got this to give it a little bit of boost for the graphics card. Then I, I'm using a really cheap Evo 212 which by the way performs really well with uh, the new Ivy Bridge E processors so yeah that's that and for fans I don't I don't have them here but I'm gonna be using Corsair SP120 fans just because I got a good deal on them there are better fans out there for sure there are quieter fans for sure but you know I got a good deal on it so that's what I'm gonna be going with uh, I think that covers it all and where we go let me show you the reservoir Mounting brackets, pretty cool reservoir, and it's 
has an even better price. That's the reservoir. You see that? It's gonna end up going somewhere in there. So, yeah. I'm gonna start putting this together and I'm gonna show you guys what it will look like in just a little bit. Okay, this is what two fucking Titans look like without their coolers. Okay, one ten. So I'm gonna miss this cooler, the one sexy beast. Okay, so uh, here's the hydro copper block. They took it off this car because it's missing the support bracket that goes around the GPU. I bought it from a friend from OCN, Overclock.net. Um, you know, I was gonna install, I was gonna use this car without it, but the reason why I'm not gonna use this on the loop is because the this hydrocopper block seems to bow or seems to be warped excessively. Can't really tell on the on the camera. But if you if you know if I were to put a straight edge above it, you can see that it's bow shaped and you know I, I really didn't like the, how it looked on my card and gave me an excuse to just not use it, you know, since I don't have the support bracket for it. I'm gonna contact EVGA, maybe they can send me a spare one in case uh, my friend doesn't find it. Um, I did order a pair of EK blocks and bike plates to try out because even the brand new hydro copper block that I got seems to be warped. Uh, let me see if I can, yeah, you can, you can kind of get the idea. Um, it's hard to see when it's just one card installed, when you have two cards installed and you know both of them are going like separate ways you know <laughs> just not cool you know and uh, part of why we do this you know performance is key but you also want good aesthetics I'm almost done with this loop I'm actually um, leak, testi leak testing it right now um, but I need a 90 degree angle to you know have uh, tidier line going through that um what else yeah that's it um this is so far what i got and like i said i'm just gonna go ahead and try those ek water blocks for the gtx titans and uh, in the meantime i'm just gonna be using one in one with the stock cooler and one with the hydro copper cooler uh, shouldn't be a problem like you know I can wait a couple days for the new blocks to, to arrive and that fitting um, any suggestions of what I should do here you know I'm, I'm open for it um, other things I customize besides this mid play that I made myself um, it's like transparent it looks really nice when you know the case is closed I painted this ring silver they still look white on the camera for some reason, but um, they are silver metallic. Um, if you notice, these um, Vengeance Ram Kit, this Vengeance Ram Kit barely cleared, allowed the tube to clear from the radiator coming down to the GPU. Um, this is my first ever water cooling project, so. You know, maybe in the future I'll do like copper tubing and or something silly like that. But for now, I feel much better using like compression fittings with standard tube that's known to um, not leak. So I'm gonna let this the leak testing go for about 10 to 12 hours. I'm gonna go home, watch a few movies, uh, come back later when this is all done. So. Hopefully it all goes well. I'm gonna. I did have some towels all over it, just in case something happened at the beginning. But then I removed it because they didn't let me see the fittings carefully. So, yeah, that's it. And um, I will keep you guys posted with the build log. Check it out at ocn.com. Um, I'll have a link in the description. And if you want, if you want to see the comparison between the temperatures on the 
hydrocarbon blocks versus the EK blocks. I mean, there's there's some reviews out there, but I'll I'll definitely be posting some since I'll be using this copper. I'll be I'll be comparing temperatures with the EK as soon as I get it. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.